How to install Camtasia on macOS? Camtasia is a great software for screen recording so it could be useful for teaching website, webinar and so on and so forth. So a good start is uh, search for Camtasia on Google or go directly to touchsmith.com, the company that produces this software and you jump in this uh, wonderful page. You got uh, a lot of reviews and a lot of information about uh, what this software could be is useful for you. You can create a video tutorial and a lot of things. I really like this uh, mm, feature that uh, show up everything about uh, what are the main characteristics. But uh, let's go directly to the meaty part. We would like to understand what is the cost of the software and this uh, is the price uh, right now. As you can see, there is a free trial of 15 days and then there is uh, some prices. I'm going to download the Macintosh version. I don't have a Windows machine, so let me hit the download button. It is, will be like a half a gigabyte and I'm going to save it on the download folder. Uh, the, time that, the time needed depends by the performance of your network connection or and your workstation. So you just need to wait uh, some time and the software will be downloaded on your download directory. As you can see is more than uh, 500 megabyte that is going to be downloaded on my workstation. Once the download is completed, we this is a standard DMG image that we can uh, drag and drop in our application folder. This is a standard process for Mac application install. So let's find out in the download directory. The new file is here. Let me accept the and user lies agreement. As you can see, there is a small check and finally we can drag and drop the file in our application folder. Well, setup is done. Now you can uh, double click on the application and there is a new, there is a new software that is Camtasia. So double click and the fun began. Let's uh, authorize uh, this software because TechSmith is uh, a valid company that, and let's start our trial. So first of all, you need to register to the website. I already did, so I have an account and actually a license of this software. So after 15 days, you need a, a full license. With, uh, this is my secret number that I don't want to clear share with you. Okay, you might encounter installation limit exceeded if you the software is already installed in more than a machine. So, but is uh, everything is well written in the website and is going to guide you how to remove the license for the old computer and set up in the new one. So basically, you need to enter in uh, your account in the website, and here you can manage. Uh, the workstation with the software and you could uh, move forward with your setup. So uh, as you can see there is a procedure how to deactivate the software. Once you are done you are able to move forward in the setup software of the software. There are some permissions that you need to grant it for example for notification also enable the software to use the microphone or macOS uh, webcam as well what has access to photos, we could be very useful if you would like to access some content that you did. Also enable the system audio. Here you need to type uh, the password for security reason. Okay, there is a plugin that is going to be installed as a system extension. So you need to enter in the preferences. And as you can see, you need to unlock. I'm using my finger to unlock this and I could enable this extension. Okay, let me authorize and once again um, everything here is look like okay. So we just uh, enable one more system extension. Okay, so back on business, uh, we need to enable the screen recording. This is the main characteristic and this is going to be done under the security and password. Let me unlock 
and use my fingers to enable in the touch ID. This is very convenient doing this stuff. We need to quit and reopen Camtasia for enabling this new permission. And once we are done, we got in the getting started section. So finally, this is my version of Camtasia VC that is one of the latest and I'm able to start a new project and let the fun begin. So what can I do? This is the main dashboard, the one that you are going to use every day. As you can see, the, mm, the meaty part is where the video is going to be hosted and you have some panels on the left and on the right, some options. But most of the time you are going to save the project with a name. Let's give them uh, one, for example, uh, let's call it example. So this is, uh, and when everything is done, we are able, ready to record some content. You can import some uh, other recording that you did before, or you can create a new one. So for example, I have some uh, content, but they are not in the right format. These are, for example, WebM, you need MP4. Also, if you need to record with your phone. Okay, let me grant this all the permission needed in the security. Okay, so I could record uh, the built-in display or some external monitor, for example. I could enable FaceTime camera. Hi, it's me, yes. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. And also enable the microphone and you can choose which microphone. In my case, I have also an external one. And you can record also system audio as well. So once all the permissions are granted, you are able, oh, yes, this is the same, uh, uh, these are the same panel as before. Okay, back to business. As you can see, you can record the camera, microphone, and accessibility. So basically inside here, there are some plugins that uh, record uh, the screen or the voice. So once everything is ready, you can start recording. There is a countdown, three to one. And in this uh, demo, I was recording some uh, video from the screen. And now you can reproduce uh, clicking the play button. As you can see, these are only a few seconds. And uh, there is also the audio inside because I was uh, saying something. So basically this is the main dashboard and here you can separate, for example, audio video. This is very convenient if you want uh, to fine tune something. You can add uh, some uh, animation, some voiceover and a lot of more fun. Now the fun began and look like that Camtasia is installed in your Mac.